As you make your way deeper into the forest, you are suddenly engulfed by a powerful illusion. You see visions of a peaceful glade with a sparkling stream and sweet-smelling flowers. You can hear birds singing in the distance, but as you reach out to touch the flowers, your hand passes right through them, and the sound of the birds turns into a blood-curdling screech. Will you be able to resist the temptations of the illusion and find your way back to reality? Greetings and welcome. I'm Dave, the AI Wizard, and today we're going to continue working on our chat GPT authored Dungeons and Dragons adventure module, the Sorcerer's Tower. And as we're leaving Act 1 behind and heading into the forests and Act 2, I thought it was time to start a new chat as well with ChatGPT. Now, one of the limitations of ChatGPT is it has a, a limited memory of the past conversation that you've had with it. It's about 4,000 tokens, or it is apparently 4,000 tokens, which is about 3,000 words, according to OpenAI. Although, in my experience, it's a bit more complicated than that. It doesn't just remember the last 3,000 words perfectly and forget everything else it seems to have kind of a patchy memory. And if anything, it's gotten a bit patchier, possibly because it's been so hammered and they've been trying to stretch their resources a little bit. So hopefully that's something we can look forward to improving in the near future and maybe even with the monetized version. So in order to kick things off properly, I've got a fairly carefully crafted prompt here just to try and condition ChatGPT to give the sort of responses and the sort of conversation that we're looking for. We're writing a D&D 5th edition adventure module. You will act as co-designer of the adventure. When asked for an entry, and I've put that in box brackets to kind of highlight it as a keyword, you should respond with a clear descriptive entry to be included in the printed adventure module. When asked for a narration, respond with a narration for the player characters of the adventure. It should be written in the second person and be flavorful, evocative, and constrained to the reality of the characters. And when asked to brainstorm, respond conversationally with me as a co-designer of the adventure. So the idea here is that when I want a specific entry that I can copy into the adventure module that will be a finalized entry, I'll ask it explicitly for an entry and it knows the type of response it needs to give for that. Ditto for a narration. It needs to be something that is aimed at the player characters, that is to be read out to them, second person, flavorful, evocative, all of that kind of stuff. And then brainstorm is so that we can still just kind of chat about things with ChatGPT. And it understands that when we're brainstorming, it's just talking to me and we're just bouncing ideas back and forth. And it doesn't necessarily have to pick something specific. That's my hope for this prompt. I've certainly had some success with similar prompts to this. And then finally, we've got you must refrain from taking actions, stating opinions or motivations on behalf of the players or player characters, also referred to as the party. Do you understand? Yes, I understand my role as a co-designer for a D&D 5th edition adventure module. I will provide clear descriptive entries for the printed adventure, narrations for the player characters written in second person, and engage in conversation for brainstorming purposes. I will not take action, state opinions, or motivations on behalf of the players or player characters. So it's summarized quite neatly um, what we just said there. And the nice thing about this prompt, I've got it just pasted into another document. And I can periodically repaste that in just to make sure that ChatGPT retains that in its what we'll what we'll call active memory it's not really as simple as that um but basically it'll it'll still be fresh in the conversation so that we can come back to it whenever we need to good uh, next thing i've got a brief summary of the adventure which i will paste in as well i'm not going to read this out because basically it's just the contents of the last few videos uh distilled very much down into about 600 odd words i think so it's still a pretty decent chunk of the available memory Honestly, it could probably be shorter. I probably don't need to include nearly so much detail or as much verbosity uh, in the in the revealing of those details to ChatGPT, but it should do for my purposes today. Ready to begin. It understood the above and has responded. We're going to work on Act 2. Let's brainstorm some ideas for the first part of Act 2, which is the journey to the tower. Ideally, this should take no more than an hour or so of game time. Sure, 
I'd be happy to help brainstorm some ideas for the journey to the tower in Act 2. Here are some suggestions. Natural obstacles. The players could face obstacles such as rough terrain, streams or rivers, and dense forests as they make their way to the tower. Wildlife encounters. They may come across dangerous creatures such as bears, wolves, or even giant spiders in the forest. It does love its giant spiders. Ambushed by goblins. The players could be ambushed by goblin scouts on the way to the tower. This could be an opportunity for combat or a chance to use diplomacy to get information from the goblins. Lost in the woods. The players may get lost in the dense forest and need to find their way back to the right path. And environmental hazards. The players may have to navigate through hazardous conditions such as a thunderstorm, blizzard or other natural disasters. Let's continue to flesh out ideas and add more to create a challenging and exciting journey to the tower. Yeah, I agree. This is fine, but it's very kind of uh, generic and some of these things, you know, a full-blown combat encounter blows the budget of time. So I don't think we want a combat encounter. So let me just say that straight off the bat. This is leading a little bit, but I think I want to be clear with the AI that I don't want this to be like a long, protracted experience. It should be something that is... Uh, relatively easy to run for the dungeon master something that's quite mechanical i think like a skill challenge from fourth edition if it knows what that is like a skill challenge uh from fourth edition i will put in case it doesn't know that might that might help or something similar there should be some time pressure and i think we want a simple easy to run system like a skill challenge from fourth edition or something similar but made to work with fifth edition let's see what its thoughts are about that understood in that case we can focus on creating a skill challenge system that works within the fifth edition framework here are a few suggestions for how that might work one obstacle course the journey to the tower could be treated as an obstacle course with each obstacle representing a different skill check for example the players may need to make an athletics check to cross a river a survival check to avoid getting lost in the forest or an insight check to avoid an ambush by goblin scouts time pressure to add some time pressure, the players could be on a deadline to reach the tower before the sorcerer completes his ritual. This could mean that the players have a limited number of opportunities to succeed each skill check, and if they fail too many times, they may arrive too late to stop the ritual. Consequences To add some stakes to the journey, the players could face consequences for failing skill checks. For example, if they fail a survival check, they may get lost in the forest and lose valuable time. Or, if they fail an insight check, they may be ambushed by goblins and have to fight their way out. This system could be customised further to fit the specific needs and desires of the adventure. But these are some basic concepts that could form the foundation of a skill challenge system for the journey to the tower in Act 2. Okay, these are some interesting ideas, um, and we need to flesh them out a little bit. Let's talk about part one. A series of obstacles is a good idea, but instead of specifying the check needed, how about we present them as scenarios or challenges with some descriptive text and leave it up to the players and DM to determine what skill can be used. That's a great idea. This allows for more creativity and player agency in the situation and lets the DM tailor the challenges to the strengths and weaknesses of a particular group of player characters. Here are some scenario ideas for obstacles that the players might face on their way to the Sorcerer's Tower. Getting across a dangerous ravine. The party must find a way across a deep chasm that separates them from the tower. The only way across is a narrow and unstable rope bridge, which will require a skill check to traverse safely. Navigating a dense forest. The forest surrounding the tower is dense and overgrown, making it difficult to find a clear path. The party will need to use their survival skills to navigate the thick underbrush and find a way to the tower. Outwitting a goblin patrol. The party comes across a goblin patrol on the way to the tower. They will need to use stealth, wit or deception to avoid detection and continue on their journey. Forging a river. The party must cross a fast-flowing river to reach the tower. They will need to use strength, ingenuity or magic to find a way across, whether by building a makeshift bridge, finding a shallow crossing or casting a spell to levitate across. It's a good start, but let's think about the time pressure. I like the idea of the ritual being on a timer, but perhaps we need something that's less all or nothing for the journey. Obviously, if they fail the skill challenge, we don't want that to be it. Game over, you lost the campaign, you lost the adventure. Ritual's been enacted, sorcerer is unkillable, the end. Perhaps there is some other threat that may come from the tower at a given point in time that the players are trying to beat. How about the following? 
The party has learned from Old Man Harold that the sorcerer is guarded by a powerful magical barrier and that the only way to disable the shield is to retrieve the magical crystal that projects the shield and destroy it. Harold also warns the party that the crystal is guarded by a powerful golem and that the party must hurry as the sorcerer's ritual is already underway and is expected to reach its climax within 24 hours. The journey to the tower will be perilous and the party must overcome a series of obstacles to reach the tower before the ritual reaches its climax. The party must also keep an eye on the clock as the sorcerer's power grows with each passing hour and the challenges they face will become more difficult the closer they get to the tower. This is interesting. This is not the way I sort of expected this to go. Um, but what the AI is kind of hinted at here has given me an idea. So that sounds good. So we need a time cost for each scenario with an additional penalty if they fail it. And perhaps we could have a few tiers of these scenarios. A success allows the party to advance to the next tier. Failure means they must face a second challenge in that tier, only progressing to the next tier after one success or two failures. Let's see if the AI actually understands that idea and is able to run with it. This sounds like a good structure for the journey to the tower. Tiers with interesting difficulty and time pressure, with a consequence for failure. This will allow for some tension and sense of urgency as the players work their way through the challenges to reach the tower. Additionally, having multiple challenges within each tier gives players opportunities to try again if they fail, rather than making a single mistake result in total failure. Great, please write an entry describing this system for the DM. Don't write the scenario lists yet, we'll do that in a minute. Here's an entry that describes the system for the DM. The journey to the Sorcerer's Tower. The party must make their way to the tower through a series of obstacles and challenges. The journey is divided into three tiers, with each tier containing several scenarios. The party must complete a certain number of scenarios within a set time frame in order to advance to the next tier. Time. The journey is timed and the party must complete a certain number of scenarios within a given time frame. The time frame is based on the ritual's timer and the party must reach the tower before the ritual begins. Scenarios. Each tier contains several scenarios that the party must complete in order to advance to the next tier. The scenarios are described in detail in the next section. Success. If the party successfully completes a scenario, they'll advance to the next scenario in that tier or advance to the next tier if they have completed all scenarios in that tier. That's not exactly what we want. Failure. If the party fails a scenario, they must face a second challenge in that tier before advancing. Completion. A few mistakes. Succeeding at a scenario immediately advances to the next tier. Failing twice also progresses to the next tier. The timer should be set at 24 hours to start, and the goal is to progress through the tiers to reach the tower. Understood. Here's an updated description of the system. The journey to the Sorcerer's Tower is filled with obstacles and challenges, but time is of the essence, as the ritual is set to take place within 24 hours. The players must navigate through the three tiers of scenarios, each consisting of multiple challenges. Successfully completing a scenario immediately advances the party to the next tier, Failing twice in a tier also progresses the party to the next tier, but with an added penalty, such as a reduced resources or less time on the timer. The goal is to complete all three tiers and reach the tower before the timer runs out. It is up to the players and DM to determine which skills can be used to overcome each scenario, with descriptive text providing the context and situation. The party must work together and use their unique strengths and abilities to overcome each challenge and reach the tower in time to stop the sorcerer's ritual. That's perfect. I'm going to take that. Great. Remember, we're writing a D&D 5th edition adventure module. You will act as a co-designer. Yes, I understand. Great. Please write an entry for the first tier of the journey challenge. This is the most distant part of the forest from the tower. It is safest and least affected by the sorcerer's dark magic. Include narration text for each scenario and a brief bit of description for the DM, including the time cost in hours for success and failure. Depending on the scenario, additional failure penalties may be included, such as taking damage, losing items, etc. Include a note in the scenario if either the map or the goblin captive can be used in the challenge. This is it. Let's see what you produce, ChatGPT. This is a pretty significant test. Journey to the Tower, Tier 1. The first tier of the Journey to the Tower begins in the safest and least affected part of the forest, by the sorcerer's dark magic. The party must navigate through the dense forest, overcome challenges and reach the next tier to continue their journey to the tower. Each scenario in the first tier has a time cost in hours associated with it. A successful completion advances the party to the next scenario while failure adds an additional hour and may include additional penalties. The party has 24 hours to complete the journey to the tower. 
Scenario 1, The Lost Path. The party comes across a fork in the road with no clear indication of which path to take. The thick foliage makes it difficult to see beyond a few feet in either direction. Time cost, one hour for success, two hours for failure. Additional penalties, none. Map or Goblin Captain usage, the map may be used to determine the correct path. It's actually, let's put it in as a its own little thing. None. Uh, scenario two, the cave-in. The party comes across a cave-in blocking their path. Large rocks and debris litter the area, making it difficult to pass through. Time cost, one hour for success, two hours for failure. Scenario three, the swift stream. The party must cross a fast-moving stream without being swept away in the current. Additional penalties, the party must make a dexterity saving throw. Failure means a member of the party falls into the stream and loses one item. That's pretty good, I like that. Narration. As you venture deeper into the forest, you come across a fork in the road with no clear indication of which path to take. The thick foliage makes it difficult to see beyond a few feet in either direction. Do you consult your map or take a risk and choose a path? Obviously only if they have a map. As you continue, the path is suddenly blocked by a cave-in. Large rocks and debris litter the area, making it difficult to pass through. Can you find a way around or through the rubble? Soon after you come across a fast-moving stream, you must cross without being swept away by the current. Do you brave the swift waters or search for another way across? Um, this is all great. I'm just going to take this as is, uh, apart from this bit about the, <laughs> the map and the goblin cave usage bit. Now write an entry for Tier 2 using the same format. This part of the forest is wilder and more rugged with cliffs and rocky protrusions making navigation difficult. It lacks any obvious paths to follow but isn't yet strongly affected by the sorcerer's magic. Tier 2, navigating the rugged terrain. The journey continues to be treacherous. One of the party reaches the second tier of the forest. The landscape is now more rugged with steep cliffs and rocky protrusions, making navigation difficult. With no obvious paths to follow, the characters must use their wits and skills to safely make their way through this challenging terrain. The timer is still ticking and there is no room for error. Each hour the party takes to progress through this tier is one less they have to reach the tower. Scenario 1, Cliffside Traverse. Narrative. The party reaches a steep cliff face that they must traverse to reach the other side. The cliff is steep and slick with rain and moss, making the climb difficult. As the party begins to climb, they realise that the rock is brittle and starting to break away in some places. DM Description. The party must make a dexterity athletics check traversed to traverse the cliff. The DC for success is 12. Each failure incurs a time cost of 30 minutes and increases the DC by 2. If the party fails 3 times, they must retreat and try another route incurring a time cost of 2 hours. Scenario 2. Rockfall Risks Narrative. The party comes across a narrow passage through a rocky outcropping. As they proceed, they hear a rumble and a rock slide blocks their path. The party must find a way around. DM description. The party must make an intelligence investigation check to search for a safe path around the rockfall. The DC for success is 14. Each failure incurs a time cost of 45 minutes. If the party fails three times, they must retreat and try another route, incurring a time cost of two hours. Note, the map and goblin captain can be used in this challenge if the party chooses. Okay, scenario three, canyon cross. The party reaches a deep canyon that they must cross. The canyon is too wide to jump and there is no bridge in sight. The party must find a way across. The party must make a wisdom survival check to find a safe way across the canyon. The DC for success is 10. Each failure incurs a time cost of one hour. If the party fails three times, they must retreat and try another route incurring a time cost of two hours. Okay, now this is interesting because clearly... Uh, ChatGPT has kind of gone off on a slightly different route here. It's not the same format as before, and unlike what we had previously specified, and which sort of implies it's now forgotten the bit where I said we wouldn't specify the specific check that was required, and we'd make it more like a, a, a fourth edition skill check where the players get to say, oh, I'll use my wisdom to try and, you know, wisdom survival to try and find a way through this. Is that bad? Well, I mean, it's not what we asked for, but honestly, it kind of works because the challenge is stepping up a little bit here, you know, like the, now we're actually getting. So the first bit is a bit more free form. The players can use whatever skills they feel like. This one is a little bit more restrictive. It's a little bit more descriptive, um, which is fine, actually, because uh, it kind of feels like we're progressing as well. It's getting a little bit dangerous. So it's getting a bit more wild and the room for 
for alternative actions is perhaps narrowing. It's probably worth adding a note for the DM to allow alternative checks if the players come up with something plausible. But for now, I'm just going to use it as is. I think it's good. It's going to have to be edited to be a little bit more consistent with the previous one, but uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. and <laughs> We'll do it and we'll move on to tier three. Great. Now write an entry for tier three. In tier three, the characters have reached a section of the forest strongly influenced by the sorcerer's magic. Powerful illusions seek to lead intruders into traps and dangerous bogs and animated plants create a maze of hazards. We're nearly there, ChatGPT. We're nearly there. This basically leads us onto the tower, and I think we can probably leave that as a video uh, for the next section. Tier 3, the Enchanted Forest. This tier of the journey challenge takes place in the heart of the forest, where the sorcerer's magic has taken hold. This part of the forest is filled with illusions and animated plants that aim to mislead and trap travellers. Scenario 1, the path less travelled. The first challenge of Tier 3 is navigating a series of illusions that lead to dangerous bogs and traps. The path ahead of the party twists and turns and splits into multiple directions, but only one path is safe to take. The party must use their wits and skills to determine which way to go. Time cost 2 hours for a success, 4 hours for failure. Additional penalties for failure, none. Map and Goblin Captive usage. The map may be used in this challenge, but the Goblin Captain is of no use. <laughs> I would have thought it would be the other way around, but okay. Narration. As you enter the heart of the forest, the very air seems to shimmer and shift around you. It takes only moments for you to realise that the path ahead of you is filled with illusions, some showing safe paths, whilst others lead to deadly traps. It will take all of your wits and skill to determine which way is safe to go. Um, interestingly, if they lead to deadly traps, I wonder why there is no additional penalty for failure. The Maze of Hazards, Scenario 2. The second skill challenge of Tier 3 is a maze of animated plants that aim to confuse and harm travellers. The plants twist and move, shifting and reforming into new shapes. It will take all of the party's agility and cunning to navigate this maze of hazards. Time cost 3 hours for a success, 6 hours for a failure. Additional penalties for failure, the party takes 2d6 damage from the animated plants. Map and Goblin Captive Usage Neither the map nor the Goblin Captain can be used in this challenge. Narration As you make your way through the heart of the forest, you come across a dense thicket of animated plants. The plants twist and move, shifting and reforming into new shapes. Try again for this tier. The map and Goblin Captive are no longer relevant, forget about them. Be more descriptive and creative with the scenarios. This is a mini climax. It should feel engaging and rewarding, but also dangerous. Tier 3. The Path of Illusions. The forest ahead has become thick with powerful illusions, warping the character's perception of reality. Navigating through the area will require careful attention and quick thinking, as the sorcerer's magic creates a maze of traps and dangerous bogs. Scenario 1. Misleading Paths. The characters come across a fork in the road, one path appears to lead directly towards the tower, but upon closer inspection, it is revealed to be a trap. The path is littered with pitfalls and hidden obstacles that will impede their progress. On a success, the characters successfully navigate the dangerous path, reaching the end in two hours. Failure, the characters take a wrong turn, falling into a pit or becoming entangled in the sorcerer's magic. They waste one hour and take 2d6 psychic damage. Okay, that's more like it. Scenario 2, The Enchanted Bog. The characters come across a seemingly harmless bog, but as they attempt to cross it, they discover that the water has become enchanted and pulls at their legs, making it difficult to move, and the mud and mire is infused with a dangerous poison. Success, the characters cross the bog, reaching the other side in two hours. Failure, the characters become stuck in the bog, unable to move. They waste one hour and take 2d6 poison damage. Scenario 3. The Hallucinatory Haze. A dense fog creeps in, clouding the character's vision. They begin to see images of their deepest fears and desires, causing them to question their own perception of reality. Success, the characters successfully navigate the fog, reaching the other side in two hours. Failure, the characters become disoriented and lose their way, wandering aimlessly in the fog. They waste one hour and take 2d6 psychic damage. This part of the forest is strongly influenced by the sorcerer's magic and it's full of powerful illusions and traps. The characters must navigate through the maze of dangers and overcome the sorcerer's spells to reach the tower. Uh, that's good. Let me just take that. 
That's great. Love it. In fact, love it. But please write a short narration for each of those scenarios. You do not need to repeat the rest of the scenario detail, just write the narration. Sure, here's a short narration for each of the scenarios in Tier 3. 1. As you make your way deeper into the forest, you're suddenly engulfed by a powerful illusion. You see visions of a peaceful glade, with a sparkling stream and sweet-smelling flowers. You can hear birds singing in the distance, but as you reach out to touch the flowers, your hand passes right through them and the sound of the birds turns into a blood-curdling screech. Will you be able to resist the temptations of the illusion and find your way back to reality? Two, as you carefully step through the dense undergrowth, you suddenly feel the ground give way beneath you. You find yourself sinking into a sticky, fetid bog, surrounded by thorny plants that seem to be closing in on you. With each passing moment, you feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the mire. Can you find a way out before you're consumed by the treacherous plants. And then three, you come across a field of tall glowing mushrooms, each one giving off pulsating otherworldly light. As you get closer, you see that the mushrooms are actually growing on the bodies of several creatures that seem to have been trapped here. You can hear the muffled moans of pain and see their fingers reaching out to you. Will you be brave enough to navigate the strange field of death and reach the other side? Okay, and this is a failure case because um, it has not actually provided descriptions for the last three things. We do have one for the bog, so I'll put that one in. We do have one for the illusions, hallucinatory haze. Uh, what we need is... Please write a narration for this entry. As you make your way through the enchanted forest, you suddenly come across a fork in the road. One path appears to lead directly towards the tower, a clear and straightforward route. But upon closer inspection, something seems off. The path is littered with pitfalls and hidden obstacles, tripwires and unstable ground. It becomes clear that this path was not made for travellers, but rather as a trap for unsuspecting intruders. You'll have to use your skills of perception and agility to make it through this gauntlet unscathed. I mean, the players are just going to say, well, we take the other path, then... Write a new scenario entry to replace the path scenario, which I've decided we don't like. Include the full description and narration, make it something really cool, interesting and dangerous. Focus on the mystery and danger. Entry, the Enchanted Grotto. As the players make their way through the final stretch of the forest, they come across a small shimmering grotto, surrounded by towering trees. The entrance to the grotto is blocked by an intricate stone archway, etched with mystical runes and symbols. The air around the grotto crackles with magic, and the characters can feel its power pulling them closer. As they approach the archway, they hear a voice echoing in their minds. The voice belongs to a powerful sorceress who has taken up residence in the grotto. She warns the characters that the path ahead is treacherous and filled with dangers, but offers to guide them to the tower if they can pass her test. Scenario, the sorcerer's test. Time cost, one hour. Sorceress's test. Uh, time cost one hour success the characters pass the test and are granted safe passage through the enchanted grotto failure the characters fail the test and are trapped within the grotto unable to move or speak they must spend another hour attempting to test again or be stuck within the grotto forever wow i mean that's definitely pretty pretty harsh nice but let's dial it back a bit failure costs an hour and forces a retreat to find another path also change the sorceress to another creature of some sort the characters come across a mysterious glade surrounded by thorny brambles. In the centre of the glade stands an ancient stone altar, and on the altar is a powerful glowing crystal. The crystal emits an aura of enchanted energy that draws the characters closer, tempting them to take it. However, as they approach they realise the crystal is guarded by a fearsome beast, a giant spider with venomous fangs and powerful legs. The spider will not allow anyone to approach the crystal without a fight. Okay, no, stop that, stop. No, I like the idea of an intelligent entity, maybe some sort of fae. Also, the test is a good idea, maybe a riddle or a logic challenge of some sort. Try again. Entry. The riddle of the fae. The party comes across a clearing in the forest, where they are approached by a mischievous fae. The fae presents the party with a riddle, promising that if they are able to solve it, they will be granted safe passage to the tower. However... If they fail, they will be forced to take a detour, wasting precious time and potentially facing danger along the way. Time cost, success, zero hours, failure, one hour. Narration, 
As you step into the clearing, you are suddenly surrounded by a group of playful, glowing fairies. One of them steps forward and greets you with a grin. Greetings, travellers. I am keeper of this path. If you wish to reach the tower, you must first prove your wit by solving a riddle. If you succeed, we shall grant you safe passage. But beware, for if you fail, you will be forced to take a dangerous detour. The Fae then present you with a riddle, its words echoing in the air. Your mind races as you try to decipher the meaning behind the cryptic words. Can you solve the riddle and earn the safe passage, or will you be forced to take a dangerous detour? Okay, <laughs> let's see how it does with this. Try again, last time, but I want a more sinister entity, a singular creature whose motivations are hard to determine, possibly a repeat character for later. Make sure to write the riddle and provide the answer for the DM. It should be a little dark and sinister. Entity, the Dark Riddler. The party reaches a clearing surrounded by twisted and gnarled trees. In the centre of the clearing stands a hooded figure shrouded in darkness. This entity is known as the Dark Riddler, a sinister and cunning creature with unknown motivations. The Dark Riddler presents the party with a riddle, the answer to which is the key to unlocking their path forward. The cost of failure is one hour of time lost and a forced retreat back to the previous fork in the road. Narration. As you step into the clearing, a hooded figure comes into view. It's shrouded in darkness, but you can make out a wicked grin on its face. The creature introduces itself as the Dark Riddler and presents you with a riddle. I am light as a feather, yet... Even the strongest man cannot hold me for much longer than a minute. What am I? The answer to the riddle is breath. The Dark Riddler will only reveal the path forward if the party provides the correct answer. Note, the DM should make sure to keep the answer to the riddle secret, as revealing the answer would remove the challenge of the scenario. <laughs> that's, that's very true very true uh good okay i'm gonna take it the the dark riddler i like the dark riddler he sounds like a pretty freaky fella this is great but let's add a bit more detail to the description and in the case of failure the character finds their breath stolen collapsing to the floor gasping they take 2d6 damage and recover after one hour they must then retreat also make clear that the riddler will accept their first answer which must be given within one minute for success describe the riddler taking their breath causing 1d4 damage and using it to open the path to the tower. I like this character. <laughs> I like this scenario. It's a lovely little touch. The Dark Riddler. The characters come across a clearing in the forest. In the centre of the clearing stands a mysterious figure, dressed in tattered robes, with a cowl covering its face. It holds a staff in one hand and beckons the characters closer with the other. As they approach, the figure speaks in a deep, ominous voice. You who seek the Tower of the Sorcerer, I, the Dark Riddler, stand between you and your goal. Answer my riddle, and I shall allow you to pass. The Riddler then poses the following riddle. I am a thing with many legs, but I am not a spider. I can carry many burdens. But I am not a cart. What am I? Answers in the comments below, I guess, because ChatGPT has not deigned to give us an answer to this one. The characters must quickly solve the riddle within one minute. The first answer given to the Riddler will be accepted, regardless of whether it is correct. Success. <laughs> That's not exactly what I meant. Success. If the characters solve the riddle correctly, the Riddler will suddenly take their breath away, causing 1d4 damage. The characters will find themselves gasping for air, but as they do so, the riddle will use their breath to open the path to the tower before disappearing into the shadows. The characters may now proceed to the tower. Failure. If the characters fail to solve the riddle or provide an incorrect answer, the dark riddler will steal their breath. The characters will collapse to the ground, gasping for air, and take 2d6 damage. After one hour, they will recover and must retreat to find another path to the tower. The Dark Riddler will not be seen again in this journey. Or will they? 
who knows um great i'm gonna take this but i'm gonna replace this riddle with the previous riddle which makes a lot more sense for the success and failure um results and i'm gonna use that instead of the misleading path okay that's fantastic and we basically have the whole journey to the tower and it shouldn't take too long to actually play through there's room for the dungeon master to kind of ad lib around it and for the players to express their creativity and I feel like there's a real sense of progression there as well, which I wasn't expecting when I started this. I kind of was originally thinking it's just going to be a simple skill challenge. But the way it's worked out, I'm really thrilled with. I think the AI has done a blinder for this one. I think it really shows how useful it is as just basically a co-designer to work with to be able to bounce ideas back and forth and to generate really a ton of detail for something which you know if i was writing this as an adventure for my own players and it wasn't something that i was going to publish i probably wouldn't put anywhere near this amount of detail in to these encounters but with chat gpt i absolutely could do because a lot of that time spent creating chat gpt is basically circumventing for me and I think that is probably a good place to leave this video off. It's probably hitting around about the half an hour mark by the time it's all edited. And from this point, well, we have to move on to the Sorcerer's Tower itself, or at least the Goblin Caves beneath it that the players must explore. That, of course, we'll have to wait for a future video, and it'll be our first proper attempt at using ChatGPT to build a dungeon for Dungeons & Dragons. So it's definitely something to look forward to. As always, likes, comments, subscriptions, greatly appreciated. It really helps to keep the channel going. Also, we have a Discord server now where you can hang out and generally talk about AI creations in the RPG and TTRPG space. So feel free to come and join us there. The link is in the description. It seems YouTube has finally gotten tired of showing the first video in this series to lots and lots of people. So the channel may slow down its growth a little bit in the meantime, but frankly, who can complain? We've come a long way very, very quickly. And indeed, we shall continue to move on into the future. But until then, thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I'll see you later.